hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another movie review so this movie was just released literally like uh, a few days ago so we have netflix you people yes starring jonah hill lauren london nia long eddie murphy let's just say this movie was great like i wasn't really picturing how the people well let's say how the internet social media portrayed the movie to be like they didn't think that it would be a good fit but watching the movie yes i watched it twice literally and i just fell in love all over again i have a favorite part that i love of the movie like i'm gonna insert it in here too but it was a great movie like normally when it's a great movie i watch it more than once so you're ready no let's just say it starts off with okay jonah hill he plays this guy named ezra he comes from a jewish background his mom his dad his grandmother and his sister and then we have a mirror which is played by lauren london she comes from a muslim background and Nia Long plays her mom and Eddie Murphy plays her dad. So let's just say Ezra feels like he has a better purpose. He don't want to do his job anymore at the um, brokerage firm. And he just feels like he's not a good fit. So on the other hand, he has this podcast with his friend Mo, which is so happens to be a black girl, but she looked like a, a, a dude. So I ain't got a problem with them. I'm just saying that's just how it's portrayed. So they talk about all types of culture, black culture, whatever culture, the fashion, everything. They talk about that on their podcast every every week, I guess. So, so it starts off with them talking about their podcast and certain topics about the Black Lives Matter, um, the ALS, just to name a few, because that's basically what they talked about that. And then... It shows him going to his job, which he basically said he don't feel like he fit in. Like, they just, nobody gets him, basically. It's just, he's just there existing in life. So, um, one day, um, Amira, she's outside of her apartment, I guess. Or, yeah, she's outside her apartment getting, gets ready for a job. A, a, yeah, a job. And hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So Amira, she's basically in front of her house getting ready to go to her job. When I guess her ex-boyfriend, Chris, um, basically starts talking to her. And she basically tells him, like, listen, we're not on the same page. I feel like you're here, I'm here, and you just don't get me. So basically, come to find out. Chris is in cahoots with her dad. So basically, she was like, he was like, why are you ghosting me? She was like, I'm not ghosting you. He was like, did you change your number? She was like, yeah, I did. Then he started pleading with her, saying a James Baldwin quote that she loves. Because that's also her father loves. So she was like, all right, let me see your phone. So she started looking through the phone. She see messages from her dad texting him what to say to her to get her back in the picture. She was like, I'm done. So... She ends up driving around to find her her destination where she get to go for her um job, and she ends up arriving at Ezra's um place of employment, the accounting firm, and he just so happens is looking for an Uber. Come to find out, the Uber has a picture of her, and with this long name, and it has the same car that she has. So he ends up getting in, and she starts going berserk, and she was like. Don't kill me. Don't hurt me. He was like, listen, I'm not going to hurt you. My Uber, whatever, says that this is you and this is the car I drive, drive. And she was like, oh, yeah, you know, that doesn't let me. So I couldn't find out she was lost. So that's how she ended up there. So he basically told her where to go. And after that, they've been hitting it off ever since. So it was like a couple of days or probably a week later, whatever the case may be. And... She ends up meeting up with her brother at this smoothie place and they go to sit down at the table and drink and talk and catch up. 
and he her brother omar um notices that she's been texting this person and she was like who's he was like who's ezra she was like just somebody i've met you know and we've been talking hitting it off and you know he's white and he was like good luck with that just hope akbar don't don't say no say no say nothing to you and she was like listen um i do not need my daddy's approval to date who i want to date basically so next thing you know the dad comes to the table and starts talking to them and that's when omar tells the dad that amira is dating a new person and it happens to be white but at first she lied to say he was african and wondering uh, what what they um tribe and stuff they're from he was like they're from the Sunni nation oh, it, was, it was crazy but whatever the case would be after that you know Ezra and Amira they started hitting it off going on dates every single day spending a lot of time with each other next thing you know it's six months later so the vibe was definitely real and yeah so now it's time for them to meet the parents i'm about to enter my favorite part right here Okay, guys, so y'all already see. So now they're going to go meet with the parents. Um, Ezra decided that Amira should meet with his parents first. It was cool at first. And then the mom just started going like, she was doing too much. Like, it's okay that you don't understand black culture, but you really basically throwing it in her face that you don't know nothing about. It's kind of humiliating and disappointing and degrading at the same time. And Ezra kept trying to tell his mom, like, listen, chill out. So eventually, they take, Ezra takes his mom into the kitchen and talks to her. And basically tell her, tell her about herself, like, listen, you're doing too much. You don't need to be doing all this. Like, you basically kind of like degrading her character and not trying to know her as a human being. But after that calm down, they go to, they come back into the living room and the dad is on the piano singing John Legend, like, oh my God, ordinary people. Whatever the case would be. So you already see in uh, Mira's face that, you know, this is this is not what she thinks she signed up for. Like, it wasn't worth it. Um, after that, you know, they, she met the sister and whatever. Then it's like a couple of days later or so. And they, Ezra goes to meet up with her parents. They meet up at Roscoe's. And basically around this time, he asked for her hand in marriage. So now they're engaged since they've been hitting it off very well. And they really get each other. Who would have thunk it? A Jewish and a Muslim. And they mesh perfectly. Yeah. That's how it is in society. Like, people will be trying to judge other people based off the the customs of another person's religion but then again that person is not always like steadfast into their religion yes they they practice what they preach but they're not going to go hard for it they let them be a human being and and adjust and enjoy the people that they love and who they choose to meet and have them a part of their lives so yeah so after that they meet up at roscoe's and then by the time ezra gets back home he, Amira tells him that you met up with my parents. She was like, yeah, Roscoe's like, yeah, because he was trying to get it out, but he couldn't get out. But she was like, but yeah, you can still do it. You can still do it. He was like, when? She was like, now. So basically he pulls out this ring that he had, that he got from his grandmother. So it's basically a small ring, but it was the thought that counts and she, she loved it. And, you know, that was that. After that, what else? They started hanging out more with family. They had a family dinner that didn't go so well. That ended up involving Akbar's um, Kufi getting burned. So that was a whole nother issue. Then after that, um, still doing his podcast. He finally quit his job at the firm. Um, Amira's supposed to be getting this new job of 
whatever she does, I'm not sure what she does, but whatever she does, because <laughs> they didn't really say much about it, but she went to these people to, you know, talk about her sketches and stuff like that, and they didn't go with her. They basically felt like she should have been white, and so, yeah, race card again. So, after that, now it's time for their bachelorette party. The girls go with Amira, which is basically Shelly, which is Ezra's mom and her and his sister, Lily, go with um, Amira and her mother and girls to um, Palm Springs, while Ezra, Mo, Omar, and Akbar, they go with his friends to Las Vegas for the bachelorette parties. Let's just say things didn't go well on both ends. It was just chaos, chaos, chaos. So we, they get back to the States, and now it's time to do like their engagement party. And they go to it. They had a fight before they went. And they was, let's just see if we could get through this. So they go to the party, and then come to find out, it was just so much tension that they couldn't, like, it's like the parents, they was doing too much. And it's crazy because it's like, you're not trying to live your life for your parents. You're trying to live your life for yourself. But the fact that they couldn't get along and it's always a, a tit for tat, it was it was too much. So after the engagement party, they basically, after Ezra and Amira told off the respectable parent off. So Ezra told off Akbar and Amira told off Shelly. That it was just too much. They can't do. They can't see the way how they're being treated. They basically called it off. And then after that, um, it's been three months later. And Ezra is doing his podcast now more. Amira, she's basically cleaning out her stuff and you know going through things that she's basically reminding herself that she still loves him and same for him because he went on a date and it just didn't go well. So, eventually, Ezra is doing his podcast, and just so happens, everybody is tuned and listening to it. His, um, his mom, Akbar, and his brother, and he made some valid points. Like, not everybody's going to be accepting of who you are, but you can't live your life for others. You got to live your life for yourself. So, that's when Shelly had an idea. So, basically, they, Shelly and Akbar was talking behind me. Talking behind their backs and basically got them to come to the sneaker store so they can get some shoes or whatever. But it was just all a ploy to get them back together. They both apologized to Ezra and Amira. And Amira and Ezra was like they missed each other. Next thing you know, they opened up the, the shoe place and it is filled with all their friends and family, decked out with everything. And let's just say they got married. They got married. Like, I was not expecting it to end the way that it did. But it did. It was great. I know I left out a few parts. But, you know, I can't tell y'all the whole movie. Got to get y'all to watch it yourselves. Like, come on now. But it was an overall great movie. Like I said, I already watched it twice. I would definitely watch it again. And I definitely recommend others to watch. Because it's a great movie. Like, you got two different cultures and two different backgrounds coming together as one. And it was a beautiful thing to see. Like, hands down, Kenya Burris and Jonah Hill for this script because I heard it was, like, kind of biased on internet. And I'm just, like, I'm kind of glad that the plan was executed to the fullest, and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend this to watch. It's on Netflix. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.